wonderful, wonderful. So good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Lovely, lovely friends. Thank you very much for joining me. We are live here on this wonderful network, even our Psychic Radio and Moostrack TV, Aspa Radio Network. So I'm really super excited to be here. Thank you very much for so many of you following and watching these pages and not just this show, but then the others as well. So if you are tuning in, this is our show, Susanna Medium, and I'm your host, Susanna Herchuk, a medium and a very keen gardener. And then today, this show is going to be about gardening, which you know is not going to be about gardening, but I just wanted to have a show of my little, little tools here. So I hope you are very, very well. Now, today I'm going to take one caller, but there's a reason why I have the gardening theme here. You know, garden and nature is always giving me a lot of inspiration. And today I'm not going to talk to you about the seeds. You know, we talked about the seeds, the seeds going in the ground and so on and so on. But I want to talk to you about, which I just want to share a short story here. That a few years ago when I started gardening, keen gardening outside, the soil, because it wasn't used uh, in, in my garden, it wasn't used for growing plants or vegetables. It naturally gave a lot of, lot of goodness, a lot of abundance the very first couple of years. And a little bit later, I noticed there were, there were a few years when the soil wasn't really giving me what I expected or what I wanted to have again, again, year after year. So I started thinking about various things, giving different things to the ground um, year after year. I just experimented trial and error. But then my intention was always there to bring beautiful abundance, vegetables and all wonderful, wonderful things. And I tell you what, you know, it really made me think this year when I started, you know, being outside and digging quite eagerly, <laughs> digging again, that what can I do? What can I change so that the soil is going to be even better? So now I've got various things. It's all organic in my garden some really wonderful things. So you are going to hear about the business as well. But it really made me think that, yes, I can, I can expect things coming to me. I can expect the goodness coming out of my garden. But even if I have to try various things, it is trial and error. And I have to give the attention and the intention to the whole whole activity and then the whole whole garden. So it really made me think that I can't just expect something coming to me, but I have to give something, maybe before, before I would receive something. And then it made me think, you know, when you are outside in the garden and it is quiet, it you know, of course I'm thinking about you, lovely listener here on Oscar Radio, to, you know, what is the lesson? What can I share here? And it made me think that, you know, when we are talking about relationships or, or work situations or, or all, the, all the various things, you know, you have in your questions, we always ask or we tend to ask about how can I change the person? How can I change the situation? What is wrong with the person? What, what, what is, you know, what is, what is happening? And then similarly, I could have asked what is wrong with my garden because it's not giving me the big, biggest, biggest pumpkins and so on. But then we need to turn, we need to turn the question around and think about what is it that I can give first so that it is going to come to me. And similarly, in relationships or all different areas of our, of our lives, just feel into that, that yes, I can have expectations and then just let the expect, expectations go, but then tune into what is it and how you can give first Maybe you need to change something in your attitude, maybe in the way how you are looking at the whole situation, just like how I needed to change uh, the, the way how I work the soul and, and work so that things will change if they need to change. If this is what I need to receive, I will have bigger crops. If you need to receive that relationship or work situation, you will have it. The most important thing I figured out was that I need to trust, I need to trust the soil, I need to trust the, the thing what I have purchased now for, for the ground and also my seeds, because as long as I have, and, 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 and it is really true to you as well, as long as we have the intention to, to 
have the most beautiful thing, abundance, love as an outcome. And as long as we give action, put effort behind that, we will all receive what we need to receive. And at the time when we need to receive it, we truly need to trust. We need to let go of that I am attached to any kind of outcome. And then, and then the situation is the same for you. you know. We have to let it go that that relationship needs to work in certain ways, has to have some outcome. Because as long as we are coming from a good place and then we are giving our most beautiful and then the clearest energy, the really the highest frequency, what we can what we can access, then we cannot go wrong because this is, I feel that like a very, very important um, clue in life, you know, how we are receiving and how we are giving. But at the same time, at the same time, the the we need to give first, you know, we need to give, we need to have the energy put forward so that we can receive something. And then it, it also made me think that it's interesting how we say that, you know, give and take. We don't say take and give. How even the phrase, how language, even how the, even the language works, that we need to feel into how we can give first so that when we are ready or if there's something what we need to receive, we are going to receive that. So here we go. So that's my little, little wisdom here for you. And I have, I'm just going to go for Sharon in Saskatoon in Canada, who is here with us. Hi. So Sharon, how are you? Sorry? How are you from Canada, Sharon? I'm good. I'm good, yeah. Lovely to have you here. Thanks very much for, for, for waiting. And you know? so how can I help you? Just a future reading. A future? Yeah. Okay. Any particular area of your life? It's hard to hear you. you say again? Yeah. So, so it's like general, any so general, yeah, general. moving forward. Okay. That's interesting how I'm using my hand here because it feels like it's like things are up in the air and it's a little bit out of balance. Would you understand that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then it feels like it feels that that you have given effort and just consider where you have given your effort because you might be feeling that maybe I could have given my energy to something or somebody in my life. And then it feels that you got to the point that actually I'm just objectively looking at the situation and you know that that energy needs to shift. You know, that energy needs yeah. to shift because you know that it's much more, much more important for you to focus on how you are moving forward. Would you understand I'm talking about a relationship here on the side? I'm in separation right now. Okay, bless you, bless you, bless you. Definitely, that, that, is, the, that is the energy because what Spirit is saying that you are just observing it on the side and keep your eyes on all the details and everything what is happening. Don't let go of the, the tiny detail details here, okay? And while you are doing it, for the forthcoming, let's say it feels like, like one or two months, just focus on how you are going to balance between that situation and moving forward. But what Spirit says that this, this is gradually going to change because what you are letting go of, okay, that energy, what you need to keep, hold on to, you know, from that situation, you hold it to yourself and then put it, put it how, put, put it forward. You know how you are moving forward because what it feels like that even if you feel, if you understand that there is a situation that I could not really say, you know, and then now you go to the point that actually you know, it's not important for me to say, you know, because you would rather have the whole situation shifted out of your life, you know. And then I feel the last three, four months, it really felt like going this way or that way, but then how you made the decision is that that needs to be shifted out of your life. You know, what space says that focus on where you are going to be in four or five months time. And I feel about when we get to the end of August and September, this is where a different energy comes. What space says that give yourself that time to recuperate, you know, to refresh your energy, you know? Um, yeah. But I feel that you have done, you have done, Sharon, a massive amount of work how all the 
you know, the energy, you know, like a, like, like a bad tooth, you know, it had to go. It had to go because it wasn't serving you, you know. And then you finally go to the point that actually, you know, I want to have, I really want to feel peace. I want to feel ease, you know, in my, in my environment, in my life and in my, in my environment. And I feel that you go to the point that I deserve something better, stronger, you know, and I feel that what spirit says that that intention, what you are, what you have given out, is going to come to you from a different angle. Also, I need to acknowledge work-related conversation. You know, where I need to negotiate more, more money. You know, it's like how you are exchanging your skill and then your work, so that when it comes to negotiation, just step up and and really turning on the volume on that conversation because. This is the time that you know you let that energy go off, which is not serving you. But then now, okay, what am I going to bring into my life? You know, so Sharon, I hope it made sense, even if it was just a very short little message here. Yes, it did. Yes, yes. You also need to know because I'm I'm coming to my end. My little little conversation here. I also feel that there is a, a male energy in spirit, a father, grandfather, you know, the males in, in spirit, they are the ones who are quietly lining up and just, you know, helping you with the healing, helping you with the healing as well. You know, so Sharon, thank you very much for calling in. If, uh, um, if you would like to be in touch, I would love to read, you know, how you are moving forward. Feel free to send me an email or visiting my pages. So thanks very much for being here. Um, thank you. And uh, you can, thank you. You can find my information on my website, susanamedium.com and all my social media pages, Susanna Medium. And after this show, actually, I'm going to be on my, on my pages. So check that one out if you did not get through and then you wanted to have a quick message. So come to that page. So my lovely friends, uh, <laughs> very, very, um, um, hopefully meaningful little conversation for you here in a, in a nutshell. So thanks very much for tuning in, being here. And uh, I'm sending you lots of love, many, many blessings. And come back next week, seven days time. So thanks very much. If you are a gardener, go and do the, your own gardening as well. Give and take. <laughs>